Do you know the expression, do one thing and do it well? Well, that's good advice for brands as well as people. When famous brands decide to deviate away from what made them famous, it usually goes only one way, badly. That said, it gives everyone a laugh or two along the way. Here are our top 10 strange products made by famous brands. Amazing! Number 10, Nintendo. You know Nintendo for its trailblazing game consoles and characters like Super Mario and Donkey Kong. However, Nintendo has actually been around since 1889 and has tried its hand in many other areas with little success most of the time. Firstly, there's playing cards, which Nintendo has been manufacturing since their establishment in 1889. Then in the 1960s, Nintendo opened up a chain of love hotels. Now, if you're not well versed in Japanese culture, a love hotel is a place where loving couples can go to get acquainted with each other. You could rent rooms by the hour and there were themed rooms available as well as costumes. Sounds like fun, if not really compatible with Nintendo's family-friendly image today. Then in 1966, Nintendo sold over a million of these Ultra Hands, a kind of extendable grabber. It later cropped up in some of their games, such as Mario Kart 8. They also dabbled in food and drink production. I really like their power-up energy drink. There was also the Nintendo cereal system, popular in the States during the late 80s. Who wouldn't enjoy eating fruity cereal Mario's, Super Mushrooms, and Bowser's? Number 9. Mad Flavors It must be pretty boring when you're a massively successful food brand, just banging out the same old flavors over and over again. You can't blame them for wanting to experiment a little, even if the results are a little strange. Take Pringles, for example. They like to get a little creative around the holiday period, bringing us flavors like white chocolate peppermint, pumpkin pie spice, and salted caramel on top of their trademark potato chips. Sounds nasty to me, but if you've tasted any of these, leave a comment to let me know. In Japan, their taste in soft drinks is similar to their taste in video games and game shows. A little weird. Pepsi capitalized on this by offering flavors you won't find anywhere else. How about salty watermelon, a limited edition flavor from 2012, or ice cucumber from summer 2007? My personal favorite is 2011 Strawberry Milk Flavor Soda. Mmm, cheers. These flavors never seem to be around for very long. I can't think why. Number 8. Virgin Richard Branson, the founder of the Virgin brand, is one of the most successful entrepreneurs in the world. He's a maverick, never conforming to tradition. Do one thing and do it well was never for him. He's always taken a scattergun approach to launching products. So while we all know his successes like the Virgin Airline, Media Company, and Bank, there have been many spectacular failures too. Virgin Cola launched in 1994 to a massive fanfare, but never caught on once the forces Coke and Pepsi mobilized against it. There was also underwear, online car sales, cosmetics, and clothing brands that never really worked. Perhaps the most famous failure was Virgin Brides, their wedding dress retailer. Who can forget their launch photo? Richard Branson, beardless and wearing makeup in a wedding dress? As Branson mused when he closed this part of the business off, I think because there aren't many virgin brides, it never really took off. Or maybe it was the picture. Number 7. Dr. Pepper Barbecue Sauce We've talked about when food and drink brands like to experiment with mad flavors, but what about when they experiment with a totally different type of food altogether? Around 2013, the famous soda maker, Dr. Pepper, branched out into barbecue sauce, launching their Sweet and Kick and Barbecue brand. It combined the 23 flavors of Dr. Pepper with slow simmered and spiced barbecue seasonings. What's the worst that could happen, they thought? Well, no one bought it, and it soon was taken off the market. It must have had its fans, however, as the internet is now chock full of recipes for homemade Dr. Pepper barbecue sauce. It hasn't stopped Dr. Pepper from branching out either. You can find official Dr. Pepper flavored bubblegum, jelly beans, lip balm, ice cream sauce, and Slurpees, if you like that sort of thing. Number six, ice breakers packs. Often when famous brands fall with new products, they're innovative and ahead of their time. The mainstream market just wasn't ready. Other times their new products are just plain silly. Ice breakers packs was definitely one of the latter times. In 2008, the popular chewing gum brand launched a white minty powder which you placed into your mouth, letting the minty goodness dissolve onto your taste buds. If this wasn't enough, they were sold in little see-through bags. Now, I know they're mints, and you know they're mints, but if you were pulled over by the cops and they searched you, 
Would they know their mints? I wouldn't fancy my chances going through airport security with some icebreakers packs in my pocket. Law enforcement complained, and icebreakers pulled this product. Number 5. Hooters Air Hooters is a popular restaurant chain famous for its spicy chicken wings and nothing else. Okay, I'm lying. Hooters is mainly famous for its waiting staff, exclusively made up of attractive women dressed up in tight shorts and tank tops. It's a winning formula, which has seen Hooters restaurants opening up all over the world. They also have a Hooters casino in Las Vegas. Eyebrows were raised in 2003 when Hooters acquired Pace Airlines and rebranded it as Hooters Air. They promised the Hooters experience in the sky, with two Hooters waitresses on every flight, as well as professional flight crew. Highlights from Hooters' famous menu were served, even on short-haul flights. However, Hooters Air lasted less than three years, halting trading in 2006, blaming their plight on high fuel prices. I guess it was an idea that didn't take off. Number 4. Veggie Jello Ice cream, cake at a push, those are the only two things you should eat Jello with. The beauty of Jello and its wobbly simplicity. It's shaky and sweet and everyone loves it. Unfortunately, back in the 1960s, that wasn't enough for the Jello company. They decided that Jello should be a wobbly part of everyone's diet and bought out some savory flavors. These included celery, mixed vegetable, and seasoned tomato. As part of the advertising campaign, Jell-O produced recipes where you could try out your new savory gelatinous goo, including this Jell-O salad, which looks like a villain from Doctor Who. The savory Jell-O range didn't last long. It was quietly withdrawn when it emerged that no one wanted their salad suspended in a wobbly alien stomach. But was it ahead of its time? Vodka jelly is very popular these days. Maybe it's time to bring veggie jello back. Number 3. Wine Wine is one of those areas that many brands want to break into. It's fashionable, aspirational, and you can charge a fortune for it. So even if a brand has no connection at all with viticulture, they want in. Take Diesel Jeans, for example. In 2004, the ultra-fashionable brand bought a 100-hectare vineyard in Italy to make wine and olive oil. It took 12 years until the Diesel Farm de Rosso wine range came out, named after Diesel's founder, Renzo Rosso. Like their jeans, these wines are at the pricier end of the spectrum, selling in high-end London restaurants for over 100 pounds per bottle. When you think about Harley-Davidson, you think of leather-clad biker gangs cruising the highways on their deafening machines. What do you think those guys drink? Probably a mix of 100% proof whiskey, dragon fire, and petrol, right? I don't know, but I bet they don't drink white wine coolers, which makes Harley's move into this market, Harley-Davidson scooter juice, strange indeed. I wouldn't go into a biker bar and order it, that's for sure. Finally, how about NASCAR pundit and former driver Jeff Gordon's foray into winemaking, Jeff Gordon Cellars? I'm sure his wines are tasty, but stay away from the driver's seat after sampling. Number 2. Cheetos Flavored lip balm has been around for years. Popular flavors are generally things that smell fresh, like mint or cherry. If you were making a list of smells that would make for a nice lip balm, I would imagine you'd put Cheetos pretty much near the bottom. Yet that didn't stop Cheetos lip balm from actually getting made. It hit the shelves in 2005, but disappeared soon afterwards. It turns out there wasn't much of a market for a lip balm that one online reviewer wrote, stinks like moldy cheese. It wasn't Cheetos' first time experimenting. Around the world, you can find Cheetos in all sorts of different flavors, including ketchup in Poland, strawberry in Russia, and Pepsi in, you've guessed it, Japan. They also made cinnamon sweets called Sweetos, limited edition for Easter 2015, which featured Chester the Cheetos mascot dressed as the Easter Bunny. Before I reveal the number one spot, I'd like to remind you to subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. We upload amazing fact-filled list videos daily. Also, make sure to click that bell icon to stay updated or you'll regret missing out on some amazing knowledge that could have filled your brain. Now let's get back to it. Number 1. Oasis Kicks As no one buys music anymore, rock stars have to think creatively if they're going to raise enough money to keep them in private jets and solid gold toilets. As a result, merchandise is getting stranger and stranger. There is very little a rock star won't put their face on, if it will bring in a few bucks. How about these Oasis Kicks? Adidas trainers with the face of Noel Gallagher emblazoned on them. If you wear these, perhaps you'll be able to run at supersonic speed. If EDM is more your thing than Britpop, and you also have a cat, you'll need these Dead Mouse Cat Headphones, only $1,000 a pair. If you're a thrash metal fan, but also want to show your jovial side around holiday time, 
The only choice is this Slayer Christmas sweater, complete with skulls and pentagrams. Merchandise is where famous music brands can have fun and make money at the same time, knowing there will always be people devoted enough to buy them. Now for some bonus material. I must say, I was surprised when I saw that Kinder Surprise had branched out into condoms, but compared to M&M's range of bullets, it actually seemed like quite a sensible idea. Of course, these products are a little too strange and don't really exist. They're part of an art exhibition called Unexpected Products, put together by the Russian design artist Iya Kalamulin, where famous logos are slapped on incongruous products. The aim of the exhibition, according to Kalamulin, is to show that a good logo and product are essential in marketing, and that one cannot exist without the other. I guess that's the perfect note on which to end this one. Can you think of any more strange products made by famous brands? If you owned a top brand, what product would you bring out? Leave us a comment to let me know. Thanks for watching.